Lou's Antiques and Collectibles and we're here at Mommy Antique Mall and today we're going to change our seasonal display from Easter to a USA Patriotic display. So can you believe this weather? It's snowing. It's the middle of April. I thought Michigan was bad. Apparently Ohio's just as bad. <laughs> so let's get going. Today we're going to work on changing our seasonal display. So here is the display that we currently have. Easter is over. So we're going to take all of this stuff and put it in. We're going to change it to a patriotic display. So we got quite a job ahead of us. The first thing we're going to do is start to remove all the Easter stuff. Seasonal displays need to be done probably at least once a month or maybe you can go two months if it's like Christmas time or, or whatnot. So um, it's always best to get ahead of the season because people tend to buy things about a month or two before it. So I'm doing patriotic because Memorial Day is coming and I have a lot of it. That's the biggest reason I'm doing it right now. And you could do patriotic any time of year. That's always a good thing to do. So we got all the Easter stuff out. Now we have to do some moving around because this clear glass in the front has been here for quite a while since I opened the booth. So we're gonna move that to the back and put blue up here for the red, white, and blue. So we're gonna go to this back shelf here and we're gonna pull out all the blue. Not the turquoise, but just the plain blue, the light blues and the cobalt blues. So we're gonna do a little switching around so we have a new look. Another thing we're gonna do while we're moving the blue to the front is we're gonna try to get all the pink out of here and we're gonna redo the dress forms so they match our red, white, and blue theme. So what I usually try to do is not take everything home, but just the Easter stuff, which is right here in this pile. This is the stuff I'm taking home. And then, um, but try to integrate it in the existing shelving because I haven't been here in a couple weeks and I do have quite a bit of room. So we're gonna do that now. We have a good start of changing our display. I took all the clear glass out of these front two shelves and replaced it with blue to go with our red, white, and blue theme. And then we've removed a lot of the pink items and some of the pink jewelry. We still have to do the dress forms and put in the, uh, the patriotic type items to decorate. So what we did is we took all that clear glass and we put it back here with the blue. So we just left the turquoise in. So it's gonna be more of a, just a turquoise shelf and actually for my summer display, I'm gonna do turquoise and neon green. So we'll be working with that later. But for now, the clear is back here. Okay, we have all the red, white, and blue in, but it still looks pretty messy. So I'm gonna to have to make this look a little bit better and tie it all in together. But we're getting there. We are restage with a USA theme ready for Memorial Day and for some people this is way too crowded but for me I don't always do well when I do it this way so I'm not gonna change a system that works well so if it doesn't work well for you you do what is best for your mall but regardless it looks like it's all new stuff there is some new things but there's a lot of things that I pulled out from the back too so it's a good way to reshuffle things around and get your sales to go up again. You can see I got some red, white, and blue dresses and a blue dress. And on the side here, I have a little desk and some picket fence. And on this side, I have a, another USA dress. So let's walk around the booth and take a look. And here's my jewelry. It's kind of ironic that the red and the blue went in the upper shelves. <laughs> that worked out actually pretty good. That was not planned. And here's the side. And my hat tree. And I did put a blue dress back here on this mannequin. And on this shelf here, those are the yellow, greens, oranges, harvest type colors. 
And here's my toy shelf with some hats and a basket. And here's all the purses. Lots of Vera Bradley's and lots of vintage purses. And my showcase here with compacts, pearls, sterling, and some old purses. There's some amber in here too. And here's this side. We have the white milk gloss in the same spot and the linens in the same spot. But here's what's different. I took all the clear from the front and I put it on this shelf here with the blue. I think it looks nice. And I just kept the turquoise blue. So the clothes racks has been filled again. Clothes have been selling and so have toys. This is something new I'm trying and it's working. And here is the red and pink. A lot of the pink that was on the table I reincorporated into this area. And here's the purple. And on the side of our red, white, and blue display I put a nice little red wagon and a little quilt. So there it is. Our display is all done and we're ready for Memorial Day. And here's another view of our center display. We pulled all that blue from the back and put it down here on these shelves. And this is Lou from Lou's Antiques saying goodbye and we'll see you again.